give a quick recap. We started this in May, where I first went to the chief and tried to get this situated. I did not get my letter in waiting until June, mid-June, so a month later. Now it's September. No, it's it's about to be September, so it's the end of August. I believe, it's, yeah, it's very very end of August, approaching September, and I still haven't received my uh, my ID. The explanation the explanation that was given to me was it's because of my age. I got my ID um, way too late than the required age of eighteen, so because of that, it's the reason why they're delaying everything. And so now they want me to keep telling my story over and over and over again of why I wasn't, I didn't get it earlier. And to be honest, the story is very simple. I was out the country. That's why. That's why I wasn't here to get my ID. Ever since we were, I went to Huduma, I found out it was never processed. I ended up letting him know that I know it's not processed. And ever since then, after now, it was just a, a lot of run around. I'm going to check, I'm going to check, but nothing was being done. Now... Now, pretty much finding out that he's pretty much trying to take the blame off of himself and putting it upon the guy who did my, I, my fingerprints. And they're the ones now that, and he showed me who has signed so far, and he's the only one who has signed. They told me to go by August 30th to be able to speak to the chief, the guy who does the fingerprints. I believe that's the DOA, right? And then the place he was supposed to be sent after, with, which was in Isinia. Cindy yeah. is senior and he's in to talk to them and to tell them what's going on even though they could easily just told my story of I wasn't here to the person they want me to go and tell that person directly so I don't know what other things they're going to try to do out of this but it is a lot of there is a lot of pressure now because kind of made it seem like if you don't tell me I'm gonna find out regardless and don't let it turn into something bad because if you're going to need me, I'm not going to be here to help you or don't speak to me. And he says, and the information I was getting was don't come in angry. And I really never came in angry. I just came to just get information of what's going on. He was like, I can easily tell the other person to just cancel your name. And she's too difficult, you know? As if to try to stop the process completely so it's like um it feels like it's a mental warfare now <laughs> that's what it feels like but it's it's become a complete headache i feel for the diaspora i feel yeah. for god yeah. forbid for all the ones who let's say they are deported mm -hmm. or just whatever situation yeah. someone's going through because it's turning to be such a hassle it's hard <laughs> because th this should not be normal this is not normal the government is there to make life easier for its people not for the people to feel like the government is keeping them out on the most basics of things that you need to live your life have a normal life you know and things just have to change they have to change how was your process to get your id for me it was easy it took two weeks to finalize the process and the stamping with the chief and being sent here and there but um for me to get now the id after being given the waiting like after three weeks all our ids were out um my yeah. opinion on it yeah. it's unfair because like you are kenyan you have all your certificates but they still find something like that they can use against you to like lengthen the whole process and push you to like do something to fasten it which normally no, it means bribing you see so when they see an opportunity they take it always now he, he was moving like past from now the, the station of the IED but now he's talking about trying to get more information about your private life you see and trying to use some information that you're not willing to give out because it's your life again it's true so i felt it was more of trying to manipulate you 
I'm going to date you to like do whatever he says. If you want your your identification to be processed quicker, you need to give something, and then it will be quick. And because their reason is very like the reasoning behind the age matter, mm. it's not viable. Mm -hmm. like it's not. It's not a thing because you have a solid um, reason. It's a hidden reason. It's a something you just think obviously you can't just come just pick an idea and then go back so to me it was just their way of saying just give us something little and then we'll do this very quick for you and it's done it's a win-win situation for them that's how they want it and that's how many 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 people go about it we are used to doing that see mm -hmm. it's a norm here Immediately, your your phones are returned. They should have called, even if not now. Maybe the next day, called, told you, um, in, it's back because of this and this and this. Come and next week, this, but they did not. And if you had not followed up on chief, you wouldn't have gotten anything. It's something that, it's a norm. Like we are used to it. We like we grew. To be comfortable around it because whether you will like it or not they will force us in one way or another to give something to receive something so that's how it is so it's pretty much it's a norm the bribing here we call it tea so we bought him tea, a cup of tea. could you explain what tea is how it goes so it's just um maybe i'm here i'm on the i'm on the desk and you need something for me i'll just ask you um so which size of a cup of tea will you buy for me today so it's either a small size or a big size and that determines how quick we'll, we'll do your processing so yeah so mine was a small cup but if you don't they don't do it and then you still need that document so you find you you find yourself just doing it just to get the document yeah how do you think the chief was when you are he hearing this happening about why it's being delayed um the chief tried to um, distance himself from the situation after he noticed it's getting serious but at first he was dragging and uh, bringing other issues that they're not relevant at, at the moment. Um, it's like saying, because they can't come straight forward and be like, just give us a bribe and then we'll do this very quickly. You get, they can't do that. Just general on how they br caused you to feel like you had to pay for your birth certificate. Um, it was delayed. Yeah, and they, they know the time to delay it. I was going to do my KCP, that's um, a cert my certificate um, educational exam. Um, so I, I had a very limited time. So they took that opportunity to delay it. So I just had to, I just gave them, a, my aunt gave them a hundred, uh, a thousand bob yeah, for it to be. And it was not even he just signed after we gave him the thousand he just signed and gave it to us so it's something they could he could have signed and given it to us but he just needed something 